Okay, so tonight we're getting ready for the big chop. Um, some of you aren't going to like this. Some of you are going to think it's awesome. I'm going to try it on there. I'm going to cut this cab down. Um, I might add a little bit extra length because I cut it too short. I think I'm going to add another few more inches just to make sure. And if I don't like it, then I take it off and I can weld that back on after. But uh, I could section it, right? Take a section out of it and then put it back together because that's what they do. Anyway, I've never done this before, so I use some tape. I'm going to cut her in two. I'm going to roll her on its roof and cut her because I'm not sure. It should be hung maybe to cut it. I'm not sure. I tried to stabilize it by making the door shut. I should weld some things inside it to uh, keep it from going like this. But I'm sure the door should hold it. Um, I need to get this on there and decide what I'm doing with the rad. It's either going to stay in the front, but if I can find a hood for that 47, it's either a Ford or a Mercury, I'm not sure. I think it's a 47. It's got a rear sliding window. I know it's a Ford. I know it's a Ford, but I'm not sure if it's like a one ton, two ton truck. I'm not sure. It has a rear sliding window. Anyway, we're going to cut her down. I'm going to add a couple more inches to the bottom of that just to make sure I got enough clearance. Um, I decided. If I'm going to use this, I'm going to make a new roll cage. I'm going to save this. I'm not going to chop it up just in case I don't like this. That means I can put this back on at any time. Maybe I'll make that come off with a set of pins or something. Then I can put this roll cage back on. Um, never know, but I need to cut this down first. Stick it on there. Try to find a hood. I'd like to find a hood in the grill for the 47. Then I can figure out what I'm going to do with the rad. The rads could go in the back at that point. Only thing is... If I uh, stick it in the back, then I got hot coolant pipes running past me. I'm not too big a fan about that, but uh, maybe in the wintertime it would be good. You can't run it on the outside here. Outside, same with the exhaust. If I put the stacks on the back, then the exhaust has to go by me. Not a big, big fan of that. I'm trying to keep all the hot stuff in front of me, like away from me, my legs and stuff. But anyway, so that's what we're going to get to. Cleaned up the shop here a little bit. <laughs> chamois, whatever you want to call it. I'd love to hang this up off of something. I don't think this would hold it. I'm going to try to roll it on its roof. Pop through there. A little bump right there. Hopefully it doesn't crack it. Or that way. That would work too. There. All right, some interesting artifacts here. Look at this motor, this uh, body mount. It's wood. I wonder if that was stock. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna cut the rest of this crap out of here. Um, yeah, maybe I should weld some things in here. I might push it back down and weld some bars in there, just in case.
I'm liking it. Some of you ain't gonna like it, but I like it. Hell yeah. Some of you are gonna hate it, but nothing's written in stone. I'm gonna make this so it comes off and I can put the cage back on. Anyway, here's a quick look. I'll give you another look tomorrow night. Sweet. <laughs> 